All right, so this should be a quick one, I hope. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about how to apply uh, camera profiles or camera LUTs in Final Cut 10 quite easily. Back in the days, like one version before, you had to use, always use, third-party plugins to apply LUTs and it was sometimes a bit tricky, especially if you have lots of footage and importing, mm, it's tricky. But now you can apply stuff quite easily right inside of Final Cut 10.4. Basically, if everything went well, importing stuff, Final Cut should actually know and analyze and apply LUTs from the get-go. But sometimes that doesn't work, especially if you don't use uh, certain modes in your camera or if you use like an A7R Mark III or A7S Mark II or something like that because there's sometimes not really metadata inside of the file that says what profile it was shot on. But there's an easy way to fix that, but it's hard to find. So I have some S-Log footage here. This was shot on the FS7, this is shot on the A7S II, all S-Log, all good. Some stuff already looks good, but most of the stuff looks a bit flat. So you usually would go to the uh, inspector here and uh, yeah, nothing really here. So I thought, wait a minute, this should be here. Where is it? Well, it's an easy but hard to find little thing. You have to go down here where it says basic. You have to go to general and there you go. You have camera LUT, which is basically a camera profile. And Final Cut comes with all the most important S-Log and D-Log and Log profiles already. So if you shoot like Airy, um, Amira, it's there. Blackmagic, mm. Canon Log, of course, it's really nice. And of course, S log 2 and S log 3. Now things already look a bit better. So um, you can select certain single clips and there you go. But you can also go in your browser. All the footage is uh, here S log. I select everything, go to camera lot, go to S log and bam, everything will be updated also in your timeline as well. If I do that again, and now it is already updated. And with this footage, basically, uh, I mean, it's almost like done. Uh, I mean, when I go here and go to S-Log, it's a little bit, maybe it's not perfectly exposed. It was bad weather. I could go in and uh, maybe open up the video scopes yep it's a little bit overexposed here so i fix the highlights which is the nice part about s log or log footage you have a little bit more uh, room for working with that so this is already looking good yeah something like that i mean you get the idea right with this footage maybe it's a little bit too much um I close the video scopes. Also here, a bit overexposed in this case, but I can bring back highlights. Pushing midtones a bit, going down with the contrast. I mean, you get the idea, right? And you also can apply your own uh, custom profiles. Just go here. As you can see, I already installed two here. Add custom profile. And I go here and with the summer look. Mm, nice. Christian did a good job. This is the Christian look. I like it. And here I go with the new woods LUT that he just applied. Now, in this case, it doesn't really work good. Maybe the natural. No, the, actually the summer look nice. Maybe with, the, with this, just try the wood LUT. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I could tweak it a little bit. Maybe go for the curves. Push the midtones a bit. Here you go. What does the uh, highlights? Not really. 
yeah <laughs> something like that i mean and uh, maybe a little bit less saturation perfect so yeah that's basically it this was an easy but simple but hard to find um tip and in this case i'm really liking the a lot of workflow especially when i want to create something quick sending something to the client or whatever it really helps um with certain footage like this one i mean uh it's night and day right this looks a bit odd a bit dull and with the S-Lock LUT, it already looks good. So, nice one there. On the footage, yeah. Anyways, this is a nice and easy way. I really like the, the summer LUT here on this shot. So, thanks Christian for that. <laughs> uh, I have a link below to his uh, site. Usually I'm not really a fan of LUTs, uh, but in this case, it really works nice. And this is how you could use that without any plugins i mean there is a plugin as well if you look for lut i think they uh, there is the custom lut um plugin when i put it here yeah we go with the with the s lock uh profile here and then i apply the i install all the others as well this one i have already so summer mm -hmm, all right what? Yeah, cool work. <laughs> now I can tweak that. I also could say, oh, maybe not. Yeah. So this is right inside of Final Cut 10.4 as well. The custom LUT plugin. No need for third party stuff. So this is nice. This is the LUT and camera LUT or camera profile workflow which works really nice if you shoot like S-Log, C-Log or Airy log um, So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the likes and subscribers, uh, the new ones. Welcome to my channel. You can expect more Final Cut 10 and Sony A7R Mark III workflow stuff. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you want to know, what you want to see and see you on the next one. Cheers.